To learn more about the legends surrounding Franklin Castle, I've invited my good friend, paranormal researcher John Tenney to meet us. He too has been intrigued by the haunted tales, but has never been inside. Holy smokes. You don't know how long I've waited to come into this place. This place is absolutely amazing. Let, let's head to the basement. There's this weird, you probably missed it when you walked in, this secret kind of door. Is this whole house like this? It's, it's very weird. The story is that, you know, she was this 13-year-old illegitimate daughter. This is really crazy in here. And that she uh, got into a fight with her father and her lover, and she died. And then people start seeing a woman and, you know, a ghostly figure in black. That sounds like it's the story of Mr. Teeterman. I mean, it's supposedly the Teeterman family, and this is like an illegitimate daughter of his. That's what I don't understand about this location. There's so many layers, and it's like you start peeling away at it, and you get to the core, and at the core, I'm not sure what we're gonna find yet. But I know, based off of experiences, and the documentation and stuff we're going off of, and that's why it's great to have really you. feel really weird down here. Do you? Why, yeah. what do you mean? Like, I got real, like, weird sensations going through my whole body. Like, I can feel my, I, I know this doesn't make any sense, but like, I can feel my clothes pressing against me. I've known John for a long time, and he's talking about feeling these emotions where almost like his clothes are tightening up. For John to say that, I know that something's definitely here. Really? Like you yeah. have like a weight on you? No, I mean, I can feel like every, like from on my thighs to my arms, my coat, like it feels like my clothes are constricting in on me. It's so bizarre. Yeah. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. I swear I just saw, you, Rob, you're over here. We're drawn. And you guys. What'd you see? That was really weird. I just saw someone walk by, I swear to God, Claire's day. Could you tell I thought, me I thought, sex, male, I th female? Well, when we walked in here, I thought um, Rob, our camera guy, I thought he was over there. I thought I saw. I thought I just saw a shadow right there, like something standing up around this corner. Rob, follow the camera, come on. John, go the other way. Try to catch, John, go that way, John, and follow him. Katrina, follow me. Did, did my battery just, whose batteries died? Mine died. How the hell did your batteries just died? Those were new yeah. batteries, right? Fresh right. battery about 20 minutes ago. So how is it possible that uh, AA batteries just die automatically like that? They're lithium, they should have lasted a few hours, like eight hours. What's very strange about this, and we know about batteries dying constantly, yeah. right when I saw that figure, everything was fine. We were talking, yeah. I see that figure, Staying there, we start talking about engaging it. Right. You see the shadow, we rush up here, we kind of bombard it, right. your battery's Battery died. Dead. Why? It doesn't want you telling... The story of it, what it is. I don't feel threatened like we're talking about. I just feel like it's energy. And it's energy I've waited. Colliding. I've waited for All right, so guys, long guys, back up. We're good to go. Okay, cool. Go back downstairs. Right. Yeah. You want to go back down? Absolutely. I felt like I had to come here for myself. Like, in the time I've been here, I'm like, okay, I get it. This place is haunted. Having this much happen in our first hour is incredible. Maybe there is some truth to the tales of the hauntings here, but I don't know what we might be dealing with yet.